think it looks you know great for the team to you know look nice and professional and uh, hopefully I try to set the tone for the other guys but none of them really took my cue. <laughs> Sorry? Do you get your confidence back? Sure. Yeah. Yeah, it's been it's been a progression, you know, over the course of um, you know, it's been over a year now. So uh, it's been a lot of rehab and time in the training room and I've been able to get back out in the field and participate with my teammates and, and I've been really fortunate this year to not have any real setbacks um, with my knee or any other part of my body. So yeah, it feels great, especially for this point in the season going on our uh, seventh game. So hopefully it stays that way. I hope so. I hope so. I, I, I would see no reason why we shouldn't go out there and perform you know, better every week. We have more practice. We have more preparation. New players have been in our system longer. Um, you know, we've, we've had a very, uh, you know, we had a, we had a tough training camp. We had some tough regular season games over the course of the first six weeks. and. Uh, I think, you know, I like where the team's at, and we, we keep practicing hard, and you keep making improvements, and I think everyone, that's where you gain your confidence. Well, every, you know, every week is different for us, and, and whatever we did last week, you know, it's, it's uh, you, you, you take the good from it, and you understand the things you did well, and the reasons why you went out there and executed better than we certainly had in the previous, previous games, so. You know, you, you get a different game plan. It's a different opponent, obviously a different venue for us. So, you know, hopefully we go out there and, and, and play really well. I mean, you know, had a good week of practice thus far. We started on Tuesday, which is a little rare for us. But, um, you know, have our fourth practice today and, and hopefully make it a good one. Tom, now that you're over here, does it feel different than any other game played? Yeah, yeah, it sure does. Right? You know, it was, it was a sightseeing bus on the way over. We had Mark Briggs, who's our stadium securities. Um, he's from England, so he's pointing out everything on the way over. So everyone's very interested, and you know, it's uh, it's a great experience for all of us. There's no doubt. And uh, to play in Wembley will be will be a lot of fun for us. We hear wonderful things about the stadium, uh, but it'll be a nice couple of days. Hopefully, we get our rest and. Get adjusted to the time and then go out there and play, play our best. Is there a balance between kind of maintaining your normalcy and also like kind of trying to take in the experience? Yeah, which we've done. I mean, I think this week was was a relatively normal week up until you know we we got on the plane, um, and then now it's about getting back focused. You make the trip now, you got to get focused back on the game and the opponent and what we're trying to do, how we're trying to execute, and uh, you know I think that's. The important thing, not to lose focus of, of really everything we've done, and because uh, you know, there are plenty of distractions, and, and I think it's you know if you get distracted, you, you get behind. So could you be as, uh, still be focused and driven as you were before the uh, before the injury? Yeah, I'm married and everything in sport. Mm -hmm. uh, what is it that keeps you going? What is it driving? Well, what drives me? Well, I think that's, I don't think we have enough time at this press conference to get into all that. But, I mean, I, I really love playing the game. I love um, competing at, at this level. I mean, it's, believe me, when you're a kid in America and you grow up in an area where I grew up watching the great football of uh, San Francisco 49ers of the 80s, I mean, I, I always loved playing the game. And, uh, you know, I started in college and, and, and uh, you know, really enjoyed that experience. Got drafted by the Patriots um, almost 10 years ago. And uh, you know, to me, it's the best organization in the NFL. And, uh, you know, I believe every time I take the field, um, it's, it's an honor for me. It's a privilege to play for this team. And, uh, you know, I hopefully I always do it with the same type of competitiveness and the same type of leadership. It's not something that I take very lightly at all. It's, you know, it's really, you know, there's only a couple of really important things in my life, and this is right at the top of the list. And, uh, you know, football is not something you can, you can go at it 70 or 80 percent. I mean, you, you're either in it all the way or you're not going to last very long. So, you know, I learned that lesson early, and, and uh, you know, I'd love, to, I'd love to keep playing quarterback for the Patriots for as long as I can.
I'm not sure sort of improbable path here. I mean, what is it like to think of yourself as a, a global icon, you know, to, to be known around the world? No, I don't think of it like, I don't think of that too, too often. I, you know, I, you know, I'm very much who I was, who I was, uh, you know, who I've always been. It's, you know, there's certain circumstances in your life where you get opportunity, I keep banging this thing. What the hell is this thing? You know, there's opportunities that happen in your life that you take advantage of. And, and obviously with the success of our team, the quarterback gets a lot of the attention, a lot of the focus. And uh, that's just, that's just the part of it. I mean, it's, you don't have success as a quarterback without, you know, a great team and great coaches and great leadership from, from our owner, Mr. Kraft. So, um, believe me, there's a lot of people that, uh, you know, that, that I'm very proud to be associated with. And, you know, this team is, uh, you know, it's, I think for all of us, we're all privileged to play for this team. Are you finding yourself following my castles or this Yeah, all the time. All the time. That's my buddy. Matt and I are like brothers, so. We still text each other quite a bit. He's, uh, you know, I always, he's really a great guy, and I'm always wishing for the best for him. Do I play him for longer? For London or Paris or? Oh, all the way over here. That'd be, that'd be some hell of road trips, you know, all the way. As long as I, uh, that, that would be that would be challenging, you know. Hey, whatever whatever the league needs to do, um, but I don't see that happening anytime soon. But uh, thank you, Tom. Thank you, my guys.